Hello, everybody. This is Chris Burnside, one of the writers and producers of The Hidden People. I'm excited to tell you that season two will resume with the second half on December 31st of this year. So we'll be coming back to you very soon with 11 more episodes to close out this very big season. In the meantime, I'd like to share with you a little show called Customs that I helped to make with Catherine Seaton, who does the sound and music on The Hidden People. It's just a short little horror show that I hope you will enjoy, and that might tide you over a little bit while you wait for season two to resume. If you haven't already joined us on Patreon, you should join us there so that you can be part of the premiere of the second half of season two, which will be coming just in a few weeks. And that's going to be an exclusive premiere just for Patreon supporters and cast and crew. So if you've not already joined us there, you should definitely check it out at patreon.com slash hidden people podcast. So you can get bonus episodes, commentaries, and that upcoming advanced listen of the next episode of the hidden people. Thanks for listening, everybody. 11th hour audio presents customs. Written by Chris Burnside. Please follow the signs and queue for the next available agent. Me? You're that person who tries to walk through airport security with your shoes on, aren't you? I, I just... I didn't expect... I mean, I just got off the lift. Isn't this the 10th floor? What, what am I supposed to do? Uh, can you read, at least? This line is for returning residents. This line is for intentional visitors. The third is for... Accidentals. Accidentals? You'd be surprised how many people didn't mean to end up here. Or maybe you wouldn't be, seeing as how you look pretty confused. You might think that such a specific combination of flaws in such a specific order would make it unlikely to replicate accidentally. But it must be like that monkey's type in Hamlet thing. I'm guessing that third line's for you. I'm an accidental. Madam, you haven't finished a sentence that hasn't been a question. You're definitely an accidental. Queue for the next available customs agent. But there's no one else in the queue. There's no one else anywhere. No one else? Oh. Right. You're human. Just... Just stand right there in the queue. Don't move forward until you're called. I wouldn't want you bumping into, um... No one else. <laughs> this is customs. You have a customs checkpoint on the 10th floor of an office building. Madam, you stopped being in an office building after you played the elevator game, even if you played it by accident. And of course we've got customs. What did you expect? A flaming hellscape? Maybe a fun house filled with mirrors and clowns? <laughs> Border protection isn't a joke. I didn't mean any... Of course you didn't. Your ignorance, just like your arrival, is accidental. I hope you've got all your documentation in order. Documentation? What do you mean? Next. What kind of documentation did you mean? I, I don't have any. Next. Better get moving. Don't worry. I'm sure everything will be just fine. Stop. No, take a step back. Turn slowly until you're facing the other direction. Fine, now walk backwards to me until you reach the counter. 
That's close enough. Well, can't really get any closer. What was that? Nothing. Sorry. Turn around. State your name. Karis. Full name, as it appears on your documentation. Documentation. See, now the guard mentioned that too. I don't... I mean, I didn't bring any special papers. You don't have your passport ready? I have a driver's license, a, a library card, a Amazon gift card, but obviously my name's not on that. Um, old student ID I still use for discounts? Sorry, this, this bag is huge. Does any of that work? Just state your full name. Karis A. Llewellyn. What's the A stand for? Nothing. I just have a middle letter. Where you're from, middle initials stand for names. Not mine. And no passport. Sorry. I mean, mine's probably expired anyway. We don't want that kind of passport. Well, whatever it is you're looking for, I don't think I have it. <sighs> Accidentals. You'd think the odds of someone randomly completing such a specific sequence would be near impossible, but no. Every day, some accidental stumbles through all wide-eyed and unprepared. The guard said much the same. I guess it does seem rather unlikely. We'll have to make you a passport. How long will that take? Not long. Madam, please give me your bag. Excuse me? Your bag. I'll hold it while you go through the passport process. Uh, sure, I guess. It's heavy. It is heavy. I guess I should clean it out more often. Please roll up your right sleeve and place your right hand on the counter, palm up. I'm going to ask you some things to verify that you come from where you say you come from. I never said where I come from. I guess you didn't. You sure you're in the right line? Look, mate. From the moment I got off that lift, I've just been doing what I've been told. Yeah. I suppose you have. So, I'd really like to expediate this, because, as you might imagine, I have some questions of my own to ask you. Questions about this place, and why you have customs, and oh my god, that's a big knife! I just need to start the passport process. And for that, you need, like, a sword? It's a dagger. I feel so much better. Keep your hand on the counter, try not to make sudden moves. Mother. Fucker! That's just the first cut. Toughen up. You just sliced my arm open! I'm getting the fuck out! Why can't I move my arm? I told you to keep your hand on the counter. Once we begin the passport process, it cannot be interrupted. Is this passport going to make me bleed to death? Because if so, I'd prefer to be undocumented. Does it look like you're bleeding? Oh. Not really. How did you- I have questions. To verify you. Honest answers will progress the passport process. So, if I answer honestly, you cut me. That- That's really not a good incentive to tell the truth. I will cut you for lies as well. But those will bleed. I'm an open book. Where are you from? Swansea. Is that too specific? Or oh, not specific enough? Like- should I have just said Earth, or do you want my postcodes? That's specific enough for now. Oh! Shit! What the fuck, mate? Is that line supposed to signify Swansea? Yes. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or if you're just a wanker. What did you do for work in Swansea? You've realised that's a real place, right? I work the front office for a construction company. How long have you worked there? Since March. That's recent, given how humans perceive time. What did you do before that? I was a senior specialist in marketing in a local agency. Oh! <clears throat> Why did you change jobs? That seems like a significant step down. Yeah, I guess it was. That's not an answer. I just needed a change. Oh! <gasps> Jesus! I'm bleeding! Answer truthfully. That wasn't a lie! And it was also a vague evasion. Why did you leave a good marketing job to be a secretary for a construction company? I suffered a loss. And I needed to make a change in my life to cope. I liked the environment at the construction company. The environment? Yeah. You know, the surroundings, the buildings and the things and people inside them. Fine. That's fine. 
Do you have significant other? I did. We aren't together anymore. Why? None of your goddamn business. Mm. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, she left me. Is that good enough for you? She left and never came back. And it was a Wednesday, if that helps. Dick. What was her name? Seanette. Are you done avoiding the questions? This will be a lot less deadly. But no less scarring. Have you ever killed anyone? What? No. Have you ever stolen anything? Yes. What did you steal? Oh, are you kidding? Why, I'm from lots of people steal things. Like, all the time. Oh, I don't do it anymore, but back in uni I pirated music, movies, all kinds of stuff. And yeah, that's stealing. Even if we act like it's not and we justify it. Do you want a list? I mean, it's not chronological, but there was the Matchbox 20 album and that one Mark Wahlberg movie. God, that was not worth the risk of a fine. Live and learn, am I right? Uh, let's see. Uh, I remember this one movie. Oh, what was it? That's enough. You're a prolific and experienced thief. Welcome to the internet, my dude. <sighs> Tell me about a time when you used someone for personal gain. You mean like asking my uncle for his employee discount at Tesco? When you manipulated someone you cared about without any concern for what they wanted. When you used someone... Oh, right. Um, I manipulated my boss so that I could get close to him to copy his key. I wanted to take things from work and I didn't want anyone to know about it. You slept with your boss to steal office supplies. Prolific and experienced thief, remember? And did I say I slept with him? You're a secretary who manipulated her boss. Of course you slept with him. Ah, I see you have misogyny on your world, too. Oh, that fucking hurts every time. You know that. Are we done? Yes. You may move your arm. Seriously? Kidding me right now. You carved a pentagram on my arm. A passport. A fucking pentagram. This is the most cliche thing I could imagine. Like, do you have little horns under that hat? Maybe a pitchfork behind the counter? Why do you assume that our official seal is derivative of your myths of evil and monsters? Your myths of evil and monsters are derivative of us. On your world, that symbol might be a joke that the feeble employ to scare the weak-willed, but here, in our world, it means so very much more than that. Though it should certainly scare you. In fact, I'd say that you should be very, very scared right now. Mostly I'm just feeling pain from where some tosser from customs branded me. You'll learn soon enough. Look, are we done here? Now that I have my passport, am I finished with this custom stuff? Can I move on to the security checkpoint? We don't have a security checkpoint here, but you're not done with the customs evaluation. We now have your passport on file, of course, but we have a few more things to get through. Anything to declare during your travels? Like what? Souvenirs? I didn't bring any cheese or fruits or whatever. I'm not interested in goods. What human qualities do you have to declare? I assume you are importing a soul? A soul? Like my immortal soul? That's a thing. It very much is. Then, uh, yeah, and my cold dead heart too. Don't forget that. What other human qualities do you have to declare? I don't know. Decency? Manners? Clearly patience is not my virtue. <laughs> no, clearly not. What of your vices? Oh, I see. Fine, whatever. Yeah, I partake in all the sins to varying degrees, I guess. I'm not huge on gluttony or envy, but wrath? I'm... I'm a fan of wrath. And lust? What there do you have to declare? I... I like being humiliated. Not like in everyday life, just when, you know, just when it's sexual and fake. I like to know it's just an act, not genuinely cruel. So, vengeance and lustful fetish. I believe that concludes your declarations. Uh, my pentagram is humming. 
You have been granted a two-week stay. After that, your passport will expire. You do not want to still be here when it does. Where will you be staying for the duration of your visit? I have no idea. Do you know anyone here? Actually, that's a good question. Is it possible for you to look someone up for me? See if they've ever been granted a passport here? I suppose. Name? Shauna Llewellyn. Llewellyn. Family member? Yes. Here. Yes, Shaned Llewellyn. Ah. Uh, she's no longer here. What happened? Her passport expired. Can you be more specific? It says here that she made it back to our office, but did not have enough time left to complete the customs process and reach the lift. So you killed her? Here, in this office? It would appear so. Wait. Shaned Fuelen. Shaned was the name of... My wife. Who left and never came back. We found security footage of her in a lift, going up and down, alone, seemingly to random floors. Then she gets off and vanishes. I found the instructions for the elevator game on a website in her browser history. But you were supposed to be an accidental. Oh, no, I never said that. The guard said that. You said that. I just did as I was told. So this was intentional. You wanted to find out what happened to her. You're not thinking big enough. What do you mean? Finding out was step one, sure, but curiosity isn't my vice. It's wrath, remember? You really think you can take revenge for her? On your own? Like I said, I got the construction job because of the environment. The things in the buildings. Blasting caps, fertilizer, dead cord. I just needed to copy the key to access them. And of course, a really big bag. What is she talking about? Where are you going? You know, you really should have security here. Get rid of her bag! Going down. Customs was written by Chris Burnside and was a collaboration for 11th Hour Audio by Dashing Onions, Dayton Riders Movement, Old Souls Audio, and Wonky Salamander. Karis was played by Lorianne Davis, the agent was Hannah Persinger, the guard was Joe Bentz, and the elevator was April Sumner. Voice editing was by Rachel Pulliam, sound design was by Fiona Thrail, Music and mixing were done by Catherine Seaton. Thank you for playing the elevator game with us. 